Welcome back everybody, this is where we left off, so we are up here on the tower of dying light and we are about to meet with Rahim, the dipshit called by his sister for a song for a brain very funny dipshit so yep we are going to do some tutorial with him uh, speed run but actually I know how to do it already Whee! <laughs> Damn son, that's nice drawing. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Were you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious! Watch this. Ah! Ah! Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Some ditch shit is. Hang on, let me explore a bit up here. Yep, nothing. Let's go! Whee! Ah! Oh, holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Can we do that again? Yeehaw! <laughs> Here we go. Let's make a run. Crouch, jump, run, climb up. Jump and hold space. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad for a noob. Noob? Who are you calling a noob? Whee! <laughs> All right, get up on that scaffold and Whee! don't fall, cause there sure as hell ain't no net. Uh, now you tell me. survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. Good job. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Faster method. Wee. Now that is one hell of a fault. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Well guys, you can always come back and do it all over again. At your own time. But we'll just continue with the storyline. What? What is happening to me? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. 
Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit, I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. What a time to have a seizure right on top of a crane. Seriously. You can't even talk while you're having a seizure. This is just a game. <laughs> Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zero though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of Antizen. Before you head out to Cizera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Well, what are you waiting for? Get a move on! Here's a sneak preview. Uh, no, I sneak. Here's a fun tryout. Basically, don't worry about falling off actually, because it's quite fun. Here we go! Whee! And you're back here again. Ta da! Right, you only can do this here. Do not do this when you're uh, out at the buildings over there and everywhere. Practically, practically you can go everywhere, but that's it. Jumping off <laughs> any of those places. So you only can do it here. So. Let's say you're at the other side of the building, of this roof, and you want to get back to this entrance, just jump off and you'll be back here immediately. You don't just need to keep running around. <laughs> yep, that's the hint. I have to go and get... I keep forgetting. This guy always has cold jokes. Some kind of winter infection? Frostbite! Yeah, what do you call a zombie? A frozen zombie. <laughs> Beware of the night. job and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am so far so good and once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with I'll be even better talk to the quartermaster oh you're the new scout Rahim radioed me about you yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> and I already got all this in my previous playing gameplay. But the below part here is on the new game. So, yeah, why not just have a try? And what do I get? A rusty pipe wrench in your inventory. Ta -da! Well, 
by the way you see that box behind yep that's the care package so grab those if you can find any or oh, be closer grab those so if you can find any outside or grab all these medical supplies too and that's journal number 10 ah to be more simple yeah this is how it looks like so you see this all this be sure to grab them they are very important and come back to the quartermaster to go and redeem it okay so what do i have here i have the rusty pipe wrench that i redeemed by the token 39 damage durability 60 a pipe at 23 and 19 table leak okay then Guess I'll be using a pipe then. Nice gun, bro. Wee. Going outside, yeah. Yeah, man. Going outside. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. Whoa. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. And that's the zombies below. And the first mistake is you almost jump off here. So don't. Almost every crates and boxes you can find, or even like baskets, but not this one. You can't open this one. You can be open and find some stuff in it. You can explore around. Yeah. And here you go. Oh, you can open cupboards, fridge, all kinds of stuff. This guy, it's quite useful. But you can't jump or do anything with this, so just throw it away. Something somewhere useful that is. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden? Are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. 
I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Speed keeps you alive. So Brahim, Zera checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. Find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. My first skill point acquired. Okay, so there's basically four skills. Uh, actually there's three, but once you complete the game before, you will have this legend skill. So, survival skill 3. You get the survival starter kit. Learn how to craft basic things need for survival, lockpicks, fire character, throwing stars, and molotov. Agility. Outrun opponents, climb, jumps, free running skills. A bit. Yep, you need to be agility level 2 first. So, yeah, we haven't level up. That means you have to do some agility stuff in order to get your agility to level up. So, the skill that we, are, we got is survival. Doing campaign missions give you survival. Doing running around the city, jumping here and there and everything, give you agility experience. Power give you experience by killing zombies and doing a couple of missions also just to give you power. So this is how you earn your EXP. So if you're bored, just go around, keep running around, find stuff, salvage, go and give to the quartermaster, you gain a lot of EXP, you get it. A GT in no time. Hey Spike, I'm Crane. <sighs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Yep, so basically, these are all the boxes stuff. To see this, you just need to press Q. There you go. So, see? You won't even notice it, but it's there. It's 
for playing normal mode you can like spam this Q like your uh, alien vs predator yeah the predator <laughs> <laughs> but in the hard mode you can't keep doing it <laughs> it has to recharge time oh I didn't spend my skill points <laughs> that was lucky Learn how to craft lockpicks. Learn how to craft firecrackers. Pick up the blueprints, search for components. Learn how to craft throwing stars. Molotov! Yeah, so basically, if you want to craft lockpicks, you have to just go to blueprints, go to lockpicks, and you need one metal part. You collect it around, you see there's tin cans and some stuff, you can use metals, you just pick it up. You can craft a lockpick, so don't need to worry about running it out. But you will run off if you just keep filling your lockpicking. So it's best to get your lockpick skills up ASAP. Alright, so let's go. Ooh, make a run for it! Oh, I forgot. Too early to get to that. Okay, first the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that will arm the trap. Wow, and that's how you arm the battery. Very Can nice. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're crane, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. It's going to dark. It's going to dark. Hello. Oh, by the way, when you kill a zombie, you can search the body, but no time, no time. Oh, that's uh, something to eat to regain your health. Those chocolates. You can't keep it, but hey. I have to get to the other side. Time to get to the other side. Oh shit, that singing is so KG, bad. I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Grab, grab, grab. Grab as much as you can. Just grab. And what? See what I mean by searching the bodies? Ooh, why don't you just grab this? <laughs> Excuse me. Looks like somebody inside this turned to a zombie. Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. Oh, shit. All right, finish it. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Okay, FYI. Um, every time when you run out the tower and then you didn't put in your stuff into your bag, you will be always full most of the time. So what you're gonna do, there is the dismantle. So that's why I say grab as much as you can. All this weak stuff that is useless just dismantle them and you get scrap items craft parts so craft parts are important there is no limit on the space valuables has no limit too but only your backpack 
for equipment like weapons and guns are limited so right now it's only four space the further you go through the game the bigger it will be so okay so dismantle this is useless 19 is useless 24, 19, useless. 23, 19, 19, useless, useless. There you go. All you need to do is double click this, put this here, and you're good to go. Great, new start. And you have the adjustable wrench automatically in your slot. It's 39, 39, both durable, but still, my yellow wrench is much better. And let there be light. Ta da! Ah, oh, shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. Okay, basically, when you enter, it's a safe safe area. You will find a bed and a bag. So the bag is this what you're looking for to put in all your stuff. Like all this and the firecrackers. Uh, you can put in all this, which actually you don't really need to put in so since the uh, space is unlimited. But your weapons, if you want, you can put it in. For me, nah, just leave it with me. It's mentally ready. And you can sleep now. Oh, blueprint, yeah. Ta da! You get craft 2 trees away. And what is that? It's basically electronic electricity. Add it to any long knife or short knives. here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Okay, so time is running out for now this video. So see you in the next episode. And be sure to click the subscribe button if you love following my video. And do give me a like please. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode.